Following a request for a new passenger transport aircraft, the Plage and T. Laskiewicz aircraft manufacturer developed the Lublin R-16. While it was not accepted for production, it would be built in a small series as a successful ambulance aircraft and used up to the Second World War by the Poles. Welcome to another Plain Encyclopedia voice article. I'm your host Galahad and today I'll be covering the Lublin R-16. If you like what we do, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. During early 1929, the Polish PLL airline, with the assistance of the Ministry of Transport, opened a contest for a new four-passenger transport plane. This aircraft was to be powered by a 220 HP Wright slash Skoda radial engine. This contest was heavily influenced by the Polish Department of Aeronautics, which favored domestic manufacturers. Aircraft manufacturer Plage and T. Laskiewicz from Lublin, hence all their products were named after that city, responded with the R-11. Ultimately, this contest ended in failure, as none of the proposed aircraft proved satisfactory. New specifications for a second contest were issued by the end of 1930. This time, Plage and T. Laskiewicz presented a new model, the Lublin R-16 design by Jerzy Ludlicki. While being based on the previous R-11, there were a number of changes, like separating the cockpit from the crew compartment and changing the wing design. The novelty this aircraft introduced was the use of chrome molybdenum tubes for the structure, a first in Poland, which reduced the weight. When the prototype was completed, it was flight tested by Władysław Suchewski in February 1932. In the following months, the R-16 was tested with different payloads, during these flights, the maximum speed achieved was around 194 km per hour, which is 120 mph. During 1932, the R-16 was used mostly for postal service by the PLL. While the R-16 proved to be satisfactory, its competitor, PWS, was chosen instead as the winner of this competition. Although they lost the competition, Plage and T. Laskiewicz were instead contacted by Medical Aviation Research Center in cooperation with the Polish Red Cross. They were interested in R-16 plane and asked for certain modifications. These included adding space for two stretchers and a doctor, along with storage for additional medical equipment. This implementation was approved by the Ministry of Transport and the prototype was to be modified for this role. The aircraft was to be renamed to R-16B with the SPAKP registration. Besides the changes to the interior passenger compartment, the fuselage was strengthened. These modifications were completed by the spring of 1933, when the aircraft was flight tested again. This aircraft was presented to the 7th International Congress of Military Medicine and the 2nd International Congress of Medical Aviation, which was held in Madrid in 1933. Its crew consisted of the pilot Zygmunt Janicki, mechanic Leon Zamiara and Dr. Maj Kazimierz Michalik. The R-16B had the honor of being the first medical aircraft in the history of these congresses to actually directly arrive by air. It also proved to be the best medical aircraft design present. The R-16B even won the first prize, the Ruffle Cup, by beating the Spanish Trimotor and French Potes 29. When the Polish crews returned, they managed to fly the distance of 5,730 kilometers, which is 3,560 miles, without any problems. Following the R-16B's success in Spain, Plage and T. Laskiewicz received production orders for one more prototype and five operational planes. The new prototype was completed during 1934, it was slightly different in comparison to the first aircraft. The most obvious change was the redesigned fuselage, improving the pilot's visibility and using new types of landing wheels, fitted with brakes and shock absorbers. All aircraft were completed and put into service by the end of 1934. The R-16 was designed as a high-wing, single-engine, mixed-construction, transport-slash-ambulance aircraft. The fuselage was built using chrome molybdenum metal tubes and then covered with fabric. The one-piece wings were built using two spars which were covered by plywood. The wings were connected to the upper part of the fuselage by four bolts. The tail construction was the same as the fuselage, 
with a combination of steel tubes and fabric. The R16 was powered by a 220 HP Skoda J5, a 9-cylinder air-cooled radial engine, built under license after the J5 right whirlwind engine. It was fitted with a two-blade fixed wooden propeller. The fuel load was stored in an aluminum tank with a capacity of 257 liters. It was placed in the upper part of the fuselage between the wings. The cockpit was placed at the front of the fuselage. To enter this position, the pilot was provided with a door. A crew compartment had a room for four seats and one additional optional seat for a mechanic if needed during the flight. There was a huge door for the passengers on the starboard side with an additional smaller door for the luggage compartment on the port side. In the case of the latter ambulance version, the crew compartment was redesigned to include two stretchers placed one above the other. It was also equipped with shock absorbing mounts for a more convenient flight for the patients. To bring the patients inside the plane, a large door was placed on the starboard side. On the opposite side, there was a door for the medical attendant. The interior of the medical version was provided with a first aid kit, washstand with running water and lights. The fixed landing gear consisted of two wheels. These were provided with vertical shock absorbers and brakes. If needed, there was an option to replace the landing wheels with skis. The original prototype had a small tail wheel, which was replaced on the latter production model with a tail skid. While not a combat aircraft, all R-16s were still operational by the time of the German invasion of Poland, in 1939. By the time of the war, they were primarily used for wounded evacuation. While their final fate is unknown, they probably fell victim to the German Air Force. Summing up, one prototype of the R-16 was built. While not accepted in its original role, the R-16 would still see service as a medical aircraft used by the Polish Red Cross. This concludes our look at the Lublin R16. If you like what we do and want to see more, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. If you're also a fan of Polish aviation, you can check out my own history channel, Galahad, the link to which you can find in the description. Until next time.